everyone, Uripixelated here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a very quick tutorial for you guys because so, 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 so many of you guys, and it's unbelievable, ask me how do I get my retro games running on PC? And I try to help all of you and reply to you and it, it's really, really hard. So I figured that this way will be the easiest. Before I show you though, all the links will be in the description so you won't have to worry. Uh, and getting lost in this video. It'll be very simple, very easy. The links will also be on my Twitter page and they'll always stay on the Twitter page so you won't have to worry about those getting deleted or lost. Um, and if by chance Twitter or something removes them, let me know and I'll repost them back up. It won't be a problem. So let's start off talking about the virtual machines. Um, you can have Windows 10 and run Hyper-V and it's absolute garbage to say the least. It doesn't emulate properly and sometimes you can't get the sound or the capture to work and I can't even get a virtual machine running on Windows 10. I'm still trying and if I do I'll get a video up and running of that because let's face it most of us have Windows 10 now but for those of you who have Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 I'm going to show you the best way to play retro games at least for the 90s. Now VMware which I have here and VirtualBox Oracle VirtualBox are only good if you want to run, say, Windows XP or something like that. They're pretty straightforward and simple. So they're for later dated games. Um, they're not good for emulating anything after, well, before uh, 2000 me computers. And um, I find that Microsoft's Virtual PC 2007 is the best way to go for that because they can emulate everything perfectly up to Windows 2000. So I've got mine here with my Windows 98 and I'm going to be providing you my VHD. Yes, my VHD which means you'll be able to run my Windows 98 and a lot of those games are actually CD free so you should be able to play them. Uh, Bar, Strawberry Magic, uh, Earth Siege I think are the only two on there that and Nightmare Creatures I think maybe on there, are the only three games that you won't be able to play without a disc, so just uninstall them if you don't have them, or keep them there, you know, it might be something good. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to set this up and how to do it. It's pretty, pretty simple, and I'm going to leave all the links in the description, but I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do to run this. Now, sometimes on Windows t uh, 7, and I had this problem, you might have the compatibility issues too. I don't know why that is but it should be able to run. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to this link here that I've got on my Twitter page and you're going to click on it and then it will open up Mediafire like you say here, shared by Repixelated, that's me and here are all the items here and you've got my Windows 98 VHD. Now, bear in mind that these are pretty big so they might take a while to download, okay? So, you can choose without SP or you could choose with SP. In here is the fix for the 64-bit. So there'll be a driver in here and you want to replace that with the driver. If it doesn't work though, only if it doesn't work, replace this with your current one in your system32 file. Okay, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, so what you're going to want to do is select one of these and in here there'll be a setup for a 32-bit system and a 64-bit system. Now, if you don't know what your system is, you can easily just go and right-click on your computer, Properties, and it will tell you what your system is. So I've got a 64-bit, so I know I need to install the 64-bit. So you're just going to click on it, install it as normal. It will have the compatibility issue come up, and you just ignore it for now. So once you've installed it, you're going to want to copy this. This is a Virtual PC Exe and this will be the loader for you. So you're going to copy that and then you're going to want to go into computer into your C drive. Go programs, uh, files and 86 and you're going to scroll down until you find Microsoft Virtual PC and you're going to find your old Virtual PC XE, delete it or rename it or something and then you're going to copy that other file that I just showed you in here and you're going to go and put it in that one. And it's the same with all of them uh, except for that one. 
It's the same with all of them when you open them up. So, and you're also going to want to copy this loader too. This loader is also very important. Copy that, and also put this in this folder. So you can see I've already copied mine and I put them in here. Then, once you've copied those and put them into this folder here, you can right click and go send to desktop, which will give you your shortcut. And then, by that stage, you'll be able to run it. And it'll give you this message saying security warning. Just ignore it, say run, and it'll bring it up. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual machine. Now, for the sake of this video, it's pretty simple. I'm going to rename it something else, but then I'm going to remove it. So, once you've installed that, and I hope you manage to follow with what I'm saying. I'm not very good at explaining things, but... Yeah, just make sure you copy that loader file once you've installed either your 32-bit or your 64-bit uh, one of Virtual PC. It's pretty straightforward. Once you install that, just follow it as normal. Then all you have to do is go into that folder. Again, it's in your C drive. Files. Microsoft Virtual PC. And there they are there. All you have to do is copy the loader and put it in here because that won't actually be in here initially and that other one, the exe file and just copy that in there too so yeah, make sure you get rid of the old ones though because they'll, they'll clash otherwise and then you can just right click and put it on your desktop so I hope I have covered that so um, anyway, once you get it up and running you will have the VHD here and you're going to want to set it up, make sure you save your VHD in a place where it's going to be at all times, I keep mine in pictures because it's it's easy and it's just right there. <laughs> I've got a couple of them actually. I've got a Windows 95 and a 90. Actually, I'll set up the Windows 95 one just to show you. But I didn't think I don't think that VHD works. But I'll just show you how you set up a virtual machine. So you're gonna go next, create a virtual machine. Don't worry about these other ones. Just go create a virtual machine. Uh, pick it a location if you want. Yeah, that's where we got that. So we'll give it a name. We'll just say um, 95 for the sake of this video. And it won't have Windows 95 on here, but it's got Windows 98. So you're for that sake, you're going to go Windows 98 because you're going to have my Windows 98. VHD. Use the recommending RAM. You can adjust the RAM. Don't put it over 400 because then it won't work. So keep it like around 200 or something like that. Or in this case, we'll keep it at the recommended RAM. Use existing virtual hard disk, because you won't be able to create one. And then you're going to find where you saved my VHD, which will be in here. And we'll go Windows 95 for that one. It's not really 95, so it won't work the way I've set it up. But this is how you are going to set it up. So then you go Next, Finish, and then you'll have a virtual machine. And then you press on Start. And I'm pretty sure this one won't run, because I've given it the Windows 98 name. But then again, it might. Oh, it might run. So we'll go safe mode, Windows 95, look at that. And it's running in safe mode, yeah, yada, yada, yada. And there you go, there's a virtual machine running, simple and easy. And uh, this is a modded version, so it will run on Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 7, if Windows 7 has a compatibility issue. If it hasn't got the compatibility issue, you can just install it as normal, um, if that makes sense. You won't need to copy all those files. So I hope this helps. If it doesn't, please write something in the uh, the comments below. I'll try to help. I want to make this really quick video just because, whoop, just because a lot of you are asking me questions, and I obviously can't get to all of you. And then some of you get crabby because I don't get back to you in such a long time. And I'm sorry, I'm working, and I've got my own business, and I'm doing uni studies. And next year I'm going to be studying full time too. So some of that stuff is going to be cut back so I'm sorry if I can't get to all your questions I do have my phone on me so if something gets sent through I will try my best to help you I don't have all the answers sorry but I'm hoping this will all be fairly simple and straightforward so again guys you're gonna wanna go to this link which will be in the description I'll leave it there it will take you to Mediafire and you're just going to simply click on one of these, you can choose with or without, doesn't really matter and you put in either your 32-bit or your 62-bit depending on your operating system which again you can check by right clicking on computer and it will tell you down here 
and then you install the 64-bit or the 32-bit, whatever it says. Once it's installed, you go to your C drive, Program Files 86 is a default one unless you change it, Microsoft Virtual PC, and in here you'll copy that and replace this one. And then you'll go back and you'll load this up. You'll get the loader and you'll put it in here too. And then you'll be able to right click and put it at the desktop. So just follow the steps forward when it goes to install. It's nothing too drastic. It won't be hard for you to do. And in the event it still doesn't work, because I haven't covered this yet, there is a driver in here. Now only do this if it doesn't work, because I haven't tested it and I don't really want to obviously ruin people's computers. I haven't had to do it, but in the worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, copy this and you'll have to go into C drive. You go into program files and you go down to, uh, might be the other one actually, go into the program files and go to system. At least I think there was system in one of these. Maybe it's a different one for me. Oh no, it's in Windows. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's in Windows. Go to System32. Drivers. And you'll see all these drivers in here. And you should have one by the same name as this. If you don't, put it in here. Just copy it and put it in this folder. Last resort though. Try everything else that I've shown you in the video. Or ask me before you go doing that. Um, I know people have put them in there and they've worked fine, but I wouldn't recommend just going straight ahead and doing it, unless you have to. I don't like messing with drivers and things, but if you're confident and you know it's going to work, that's great. I <laughs> probably not all that great with computers, but this link will always be here. It will be available in my description and you can access all that stuff and my virtual hard disk. So you'll have Windows 98 with Strawberry Magic and you'll have Blair Witch 1, 2 and 3 which you can play without a disc, and Nocturne, which is also a game you can play without a disc, so have fun playing horror games. You also, I think, maybe on that computer, you may have um, Overkill and Gate World. And um, another thing with the virtual machines, to run them in full screen mode, it won't actually record it for me, just go right, alt, and enter, press them together, that way it'll capture your mouse, and your screen and to also minimize it just write alt enter too. It will tell you all that stuff. Anyway, so I'm um, sorry if this is a long video but I had to get it out there really quick and I'm sorry it looks really dodgy but I hope that helps you guys so thank you for watching.